Oh, hello! My name is Jesse Abelman. I'm curator of Hebraic and Judaic at Museum of the Bible. On a normal day, I'd be hard at work in the museum, but today, I'm at home, and, well, I guess I'm the lonesome curator. What with having some extra time on my hands this year, um, I thought, and Passover coming up so soon, I thought I might make my own matzah this year. So, according to the Bible, no leaven products, that is, products that result from the fermentation of grain, which takes place when it comes in contact with water, causing it to rise and become a soft, light, fluffy bread, are allowed to be eaten or owned on the holiday pa on the Passover holiday. Now, those specific grains that ferment, according to Jewish law, are wheat, barley, spelt, oats, and rye. Not only are Jews not allowed to keep leaven products in their home or eat them, uh, but we're also required to eat unleavened bread, that is, matzah, as a memorial for the speed at which the Israelites had to leave Egypt. They had no time for their bread to rise, they just threw it in the oven, took it out, and took their flat, unrisen bread with them. So, what does it take to make sure that your bread does not rise? So, according to Jewish law, once dough has been wet for 18 minutes, it's considered to have started rising. So the whole process of baking, from mixing the flour with the dough, excuse me, the flour with the water, um, to removal from the oven must take fewer than 18 minutes. Baking matzah was historically an important part of family and communal preparation uh, for Passover. Though today, most of us just buy our matzah at the store. Um, you can see in old Haggadot images of people, uh, large groups of people, making matzah, rolling out the dough, putting the dough in the oven. And when the museum reopens, you should go there, check out our Haggadah exhibit where you'll be able to see some of these uh, older Haggadot with beautiful images of the uh, of, of, of people baking matzah. Oh, oh my. Uh, my 18 minutes is almost up. I should get this dough rolled out and into the oven. You know what? Forget it. It's too much bother. I'm just going to stick with the store bought this year. Have a happy Passover, everybody. If you like what you've been seeing on our Lonely Curator videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.